everyone, I'm Amelia, if you didn't know that, and I post a lot of dressage videos on my channel. So be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell if you want to get notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. And also be sure to sign up for my email list. There's a bunch of links in the description. So today's video is a nice little mantra that I actually learned from one of my students. And it's the idea of turn the saddle and not the bridle. So I'll say that again, turn the saddle, not the bridle. And I thought this was really a helpful image to have in my mind. So if you're struggling with turning or circles, this can be really helpful. A lot of times what happens when we're riding our horses, we all do this, is that you want to turn your horse. And so basically, if I want to turn left, most people just kind of pull their horse to the left and to get the horse to turn to the left. So obviously, I mean, he, he does, like if I just pull on the left rein, okay, my horse turns. But you also notice how when I do that, it's like his whole body falls to the outside. So it's not really a useful turn if I'm trotting or cantering or if I want to keep my horse balanced or engaged like we want in dressage. So I'll just demonstrate again. If you're turning the bridle, basically you're just pulling on your inside rein. And like you see, okay, that was the perfect demonstration. Thank you, Mercurio because when you just pull on the bridle, it throws your horse off balance. So because I wasn't balancing him and I took away his neck, they use their necks to balance. So if you just pull on the inside rein to get your horse to turn, they might trip, they might fall down. Um, but either way, you're not gonna have a good turn. So instead, this idea of turning the saddle, if, if I'm riding my horse and I have contact, turning the saddle. I'm going to push in with my outside upper thigh. I'm going to put my outside leg a little back and I'm going to think about basically pushing his, pushing the saddle around the turn. So let me walk forward straight. I'm going to turn left. So I'm going to squeeze my right knee. You see, I'm going to put right leg, right leg, right leg, and there he turned. And then I'm going to ride straight out. So again, turn the saddle, right knee, right leg, turn and then right out. And then if I want to turn to the right, now it's my left leg, my left knee, I'm turning, turning, and then riding out. And then again, left leg, left knee, turning, turning, and then riding straight forward out. So again, it's left knee, left leg, turn, turn, and then ride straight forward out. Let me show you again what happens if I just turn the bridle. So if I want to turn and I just pull on the inside rein, you see what happens, how his haunches go swinging to the outside. And that's kind of partially because I've taught him to do a one rein stop. But if I just turn the bridle, that's what happens. And that's never going to work at the trot or the canner because there's no way he can keep going in the trot or the canner. Um, and maintain his balance. So I'm going to give you guys an exercise to help you with turning. A lot of times what happens is, let's say that I have trouble turning to the left. I'm going to go to the left because I think this is most people have trouble turning to the left. So what I see happening a lot is that people have trouble turning to the left. And so they're trying to make a circle. Let me get him going a little more. And they're basically just going like turn, 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 turn. They're trying so hard to turn and the horse is just drifting, turning, drifting, turning. The horse wants to drift right and you want to turn left and it never ends. Like you're just trying to go around and around on the circle and your horse is never turning and your horse is always drifting to the outside. So, what you're going to do in this situation is you're going to think of riding a pentagon. So you're going to turn and go straight and then turn and then go straight. So instead of riding a circle, you're going to ride like a hexagon or a pentagon where you turn, release, turn, release. And I'm thinking about turning the saddle, outside leg, outside rein, turn, release. 
outside leg, outside rein, turn, release. Outside leg, outside rein, turn, release. You can do the same thing at the canter. So turn straight, turn straight, turn straight. And if your horse really isn't turning, turn, release. Turn, release. Good boy. Good boy. But it's really, really important to get out of that drift. So if you feel like your horse is just constantly like drifting, drifting, drifting to the right, you can't get them to turn left. You really want to like turn and then release. So there is like, yes, turning the saddle, closing your outside leg. That should be your main turning aid, but your reins do support the turning a little bit. So your outside hand should never go across your horse's neck to turn. So like um, when your rein goes across their neck, it's considered an indirect rein, and this should never be a turning aid. This is like neck reining. We don't do that in dressage. So your outside hand should always stay on the outside of the horse's neck, but you can keep it right here at the withers and kind of think about turning the withers. And then with the inside rein, you can have a little bit of an opening rein aid. So an opening rein aid is where your hand goes a little away from the neck and kind of opens the door. So I'm not doing this. I'm not like pulling his head in the turn. I'm keeping him pretty straight with my outside rein, but I'm, I'm a little bit opening the door for him to turn to the inside. So let me show you that again. So if I'm walking along here and I'm going to turn to the left, I'm going to close my right knee and my right rein and open a little my left rein so that he can come around the turn. So again, I'm going to cl close my right knee, open the left rein, and there he turns. And then same thing if I want to turn to the right. Now I'm going to put my left hand by the withers and open my right rein and then there he turned for me. So my left knee, it's always the outside leg that starts the turn. My right rein opens and there we go. Let me show you the, the pentagon or the hexagon in this direction. So same thing, if you feel like your horse is always drifting on the circle, turn, ride straight, and then turn, ride straight. And then over time, like once you feel like you and your horse have a little better communication about your steering, then of course you want to go back to making a perfect circle. But even like if I'm riding a perfect circle, I'm always thinking a little bit like turn, release, turn, release, turn, release. Every step I'm thinking of turning and releasing, turning and releasing. I'm never just like constantly having my turning aids on him because then he's just going to ignore it. Oh boy. Good boy. So I hope this video is helpful. Let me know in the comments which direction you have trouble turning and if this image of turn the saddle and not the bridle is helpful to you.